Hello everyone, welcome to yet another exciting video by Simply Learn. Today we are going to discover the realm of asset management, what it is and what career advancements it has to offer. If you have a strong interest in the financial market and want to learn more about it, then we urge you to stay tuned until the end of this video. Let's look at the agenda for this session. We are going to begin this session with an introduction to asset management, what it is and how it works. After that, we'll delve over details about career opportunities in the field of asset management. I think I have made myself clear with the agenda. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the first topic. What is asset management? Asset management is about managing clients' investments and providing them with the strategies and expertise that would allow them to achieve their goals and secure their financial future. Simply put, Asset management within the world of banking and finance is all about managing and investing large sums of money on behalf of their client in order to get a positive return over the long period of time. In other words, asset management is a financial industry that uses money to make more money. Clients that contact these asset management firms have large income that, if left alone, will depreciate in value. And to refrain that from happening, Asset management businesses provide these clients with expertise across a wide range of asset classes depending on their investment portfolio. This investment portfolio is nothing more than the information and what the customer expects in the long term, how much risk he is willing to take and so on. Now let's look at the client classes of these asset management firms. The asset management clientele is segregated into two parts. The first one is individual client and second one is financial institution. Individual clients are people with huge amount of money, whereas institutional clients are insurance companies, government entities, charities, or even corporate pension funds. Asset management companies offer expertise across a wide spectrum of asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, commodities, real estate, private equity, etc. Moreover, these large corporations have branches all over the world and are able to offer geographical expertise as well. Since these companies closely follow the financial market, they can offer high quality advice and superior risk return investments. Initially, these firms study client needs, create an actionable investment portfolio, implement the investment strategy in practice and oversee its development through the time. The portfolios focus on all segments of the financial market. They research about the small cap and large cap stocks, blue chip and dividend stocks, stocks from growth regions such as BRIC countries. There is more to this list of stocks. However, all of it depends on the risk profile of the client. The next investment sector, bonds, also have different instances such as short maturity and long maturity bonds, corporate and government bonds. In addition to that, we have commodities, real estate and some other alternative investment sectors such as hedge funds or private equity. Moving forward, we'll discuss how these asset management firms actually work. We'll discover asset management's functioning with the help of a pension fund example. Now, you must be wondering what a pension fund is. Well, consider pension fund as a large pot in which employees or private companies put some amount of their salary to secure their financial future. This superannuation fund or pot provides for the expenses of employees once they retire. Let's say Apple INC has this scheme of pension fund and since it has huge employee base, the amount of money going into this pension fund on a monthly basis will be huge. And since we are dealing with an enormous amount of money, there is a possibility that things like political imbalance in a country, currency fluctuation, change in country's economic policies or inflation can impact this fund and decrease the value of money in it over a period of time. That is why these funds needs to be invested into the financial markets to refrain from loss of economy and to grow this money even further so that the employees can rely on this scheme. In addition to this pension fund example, the clients of asset management firms include insurance companies who also have a lot of money. 
let's say you have bought yourself bike insurance and you pay a premium on a yearly basis for the same however you don't actually utilize the insurance claim throughout the year you only take insurance to mitigate risk if any accident happens in the future so consider thousands of people doing the same thing as you the premiums these insurance company is going to receive is going to be quite substantial right so these companies will have to invest this capital to generate more money and mitigate any significant future risk events or catastrophes if they show up another large institutional customer of these asset management firms are sovereign wealth funds and non profit charitable organizations sovereign wealth funds are basically large pools of money owned by governments charities can also have large pools of money lying around because they don't know what to do with it at the present moment or they might be thinking that it's not the best time to invest it into charity cause because of some reasons and hence that huge money might be sitting idle so rather than keeping it idle they invest it into financial markets with the help of an asset management firms having said that let's discover the job opportunities you can get in this asset management industry there is a wide range of job roles within an asset management organization however there are three main profiles around which the whole asset management revolves the first one is sales the sales force is responsible for establishing clients relationships and understanding clients needs these are the people who will actually bring clients to the firm and will also create investment profiles next we have its research team the research team comprises of professional research analyst help investment team locate best financial plans available in the market which have a tendency to grow over a period of time finally we have portfolio management the portfolio managers are the people who are ultimately responsible for making investment decisions also these people create and manage client portfolios according to their needs mentioned by sales team they also make sure that the assets are on the path of growth according to glassdoor the average annual salary for an asset management professional ranges between dollars 71000 to 132000 in us whereas it lies in between 7.2 lpa to 35 lpa in india the top asset management companies across the world are blackrock vanguard group fidelity investments state street global advisors capital group jp morgan chase and goldman sachs all of these companies hold assets worth almost 1 trillion dollars the world's biggest asset management firm blackrock holds 84 lakh 55000 million dollars worth of assets talking about work life balance asset management has more flexible hours than most investment banking and consulting job roles people do work hard but 16 hours of work shift is very very rare having said that we have a small question for all of you guys let us know what do you prefer more money or peace of mind also provide a small justification about the same in comment section below that's all we have for today i hope this video is helpful to all of you guys out there and it might help you get started with the term asset management i wish you all the best for your journey ahead thank you for watching the video and stay tuned for more from simply learn Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.